Okay everybody, this is Instagram vlog number six, Live Aid Revolution to halt child sex crimes worldwide and we can do it. Now we're talking about Child Safety Centres part, part three down here in the front of Perth City and the Supreme Court Gardens. And the person that helped me to do this map here, it's a bit rough, but that's alright because it's all been computerised. The person that helped me to do it is right here, and this is Moretta Pickett. So hello Moretta. Hi, hi yeah, the world. Awesome, and that lovely background. So we're just across the road from the Supreme Court Gardens, and Moretta and I, we did this plan the other day and we brainstormed it to set up the child safety centres. Well, we're going to call it a rescue centre, but then that sort of had not the best connotations because it was linked to rescuing them from sex. But it's not just rescuing them from sex, it's rescuing them before they get uh, caught in one of those traps or those drug dens. You guys looking for anything? No, she's right, love. Thanks. So what Maretta and I did was we brainstormed it and we thought, okay, let's put these, this big tent up down the front of the city and that's that picture there, uh, there, right? <laughs> it's not the prettiest. And then also we'd put a, a fence right around the perimeter. You see the fence we got there around the perimeter? So that fence going around the perimeter is that fence there, right? That fence, So which was for another concert uh, we had. Uh, you put that fence right around so that the children are safe inside this precinct. Inside the precinct, as I said, we'll have the big marquee there and then we'll have some other marquees as well, uh, see here. Now the, the, that, that, that marquee there, we'd use that for, uh, what we were using that one for is the, uh, the occupational health, arts and crafts and all that sort of stuff, wasn't it? And then uh, these other ones, there's another one we can use as an outdoor area. And then another one that would put the school in for the children. And there's your school there. Oh, hold on. There, there's the school. So the thing about these children, uh, and wouldn't you agree, Maretta, that once we get them off the streets, we've got to get them into school, don't we? Oh, yes. Uh, education is very important in their little lives and that. Um, because they are the next future for our, the next generation yeah. for our future and if we don't start helping them now getting back uh, into the yeah. basics. Yeah of, okay I'll just cut you short there, the purpose was really just to get them into school so that they've got friends to play with right? Yes. Uh, otherwise they're sitting around bored with adults, that's not good. And so we, we're keeping them occupied once we get them into a school environment where they're learning all right and they've got friends and and new friends to play with because they've lost their friends because they've been just like um, um displaced uh with no home anymore if the husband's bashed up the wife and they've had to flee which is quite common in your culture isn't it the, oh it um, is so much a lot common in our culture um especially when the children are torn away uh from their uh, parent and that mainly their mothers and it's very hard to come back and be happy because of the children has so much um, uh, mental issues going on in their brains, yeah. you know, like um, thinking of suicide because they think their parents don't love them yeah. so much and that and they lose, they lose the, um, how to play and how to be happy because they're yeah. frightened. Yeah. Of so the, you know, their nerves have just been so shattered so much and yeah. that and um, I believe that this is a, a, a beginning to show these children happiness. Yes. You know, and get them away and make them, you know, feel comfortable within themselves and, yeah. and, and um, you know, just be in themselves without adults coming in and, yeah. so you they, know. They, they, need, they need to children to play with yes. uh, during the day. And uh, also we're putting in there, you see the school there, we're bringing in VR, AR technologies with the headsets so the children can have fun and the VR, AR headsets are used at our, our local hospital for children uh, to calm them down before operations so these VR, AR headsets will help them. Also we're bringing in the VR um, 
motion machines as well with the Birdman. If they move to one direction, the machine turns to the right or the left and like they're really flying. So it's very exciting. Or the parachute one uh, where they get really scared jumping out of that plane. It's so real. So the VR, AR technologies are also important. So we're, we've just gone to four minutes. We've gone a bit long. Uh, so let's cut back. Oh, actually five minutes. We'll do another one.